Okay, so welcome to our one take bicycle reviews. So this is the GTEC Sport electric bike. So let me tell you what you get. We'll start at the front. So you get alloy handlebars, alloy stem, Tetro V brakes. Um, you get, I don't know if you get mudguards as standard, um, but you get 700C alloy wheels. You get a 250 watt um, motor at the back, which is um, single speed, but you get a belt drive. So you've only got one gear, and that drive goes and goes and goes and goes and goes forever. So drive wise, there's nothing to worry about, they just don't wear out. They're really good. Um, motor wise you might find us a little bit underpowered um, particularly if you live in hilly areas the battery sits where um, where the water bottle would be um, and these are I don't know if there's any charge in this so you've got your various various modes you've got eco and max and this tells you how much battery is left i believe and then you um, hold to switch it off um so it's a really really basic electric bike however i've had a customer who's absolutely hammered his into the ground um went through loads of tires just rode it and rode it and rode it off road really hammered it in the end, it became easier. Um, they invested in a much more expensive Trek electric bike, and he misses the GTEC. So online at the moment, and bear in mind this is December 2023, these you can pick one of these up for between three and six hundred pounds secondhand. The only downside I would say at the moment is GTEC have stopped producing the bikes. So how easy it is to get hold of a new battery, who knows. Um, but at the right price, I think these are good. Alley frame as well. There's not a lot to go wrong. Would I buy one? I think if it was 400 quid, I think the answer is a definite yes. The things that would put me off is the fact that getting hold of a spare battery or a wheel might be a challenge um, but if you're just looking for something and you to get to work then this could be this could be uh, the answer the range apparently is 20 kilometers um, and a top speed or the, the speed it goes at is 15 miles an hour I think I'd buy one but it would have to be at the right price and I'd need to know what the battery had done. So I think that's the things you need to check for. Check how easy it is to get. So if you've seen one, ask how many miles it's done, see if you can check whether the battery's holding charge, um, watch it being charged up if you can, um, see how easy it is to get hold of batteries, and check for usual bicycle damage, I guess. But I think these are great. These are really good.